Hello, dear friends. My name is Takashi Yago, and I work at the central office of Omoto in Kameoka. Today, I would like to talk about the life of Master Hidemaru Dekuchi, the third spiritual co-leader of Omoto. I hope you find my presentation of interest, and thank you for your kind attention. The third spiritual co-leader of Omoto, Hidemaru Deguchi, translated by Charles Rowe. Hidemaru Deguchi, formerly named Moto Takami, the third spiritual co-leader of Omoto, was born on 28th December 1897 in the town of Kurashiki in Okayama Prefecture. After graduating from the sixth higher school in Okayama, he joined the Faculty of Letters of Kyoto University, where he studied history. Hidemaru as a boy. as a student at Kyoto University. His first encounter with the world of religion came when he was a student at the sixth higher school. In March 1990, he visited the Omoto Center in Ayabe, where he met Onisaburo Deguchi the co-founder of Omoto, who was already well known as the towering figure in the religious world. Hidemaru Center, surrounded by friends. In his student days at Kyoto University, While he was a student at Kyoto University, his enthusiasm for Omoto grew so much that he left the university without graduating so that he could serve at the Omoto Center full time. He gained the full trust of the leaders of Omoto, Onisaburo and Sumiko Deguchi, and married their eldest daughter, Naoshi, who later became the third spiritual leader of Omoto. As her husband, he directed the entire organization as third spiritual co-leader. Naoshi and Hidemaru. In 1931, Hidemaru traveled for the first time to Manchuria, now Northeast China, where there were millions of believers of the religion Tao Yuan, which was founded in 1921 and later established a close relationship with Omoto. Hidemaru also made missionary journeys throughout Japan and was warmly welcomed by local Omoto followers. Hidemaru in the front row with Kane. In March 1930, representatives of Tao Yuan performed the divination rite Fuji in the Mirokuden Sanctuary of Omoto in Ayabe for the first time. This rebuilt the Tao name Yunlin, which was given to Hidemaru in the name of Jishan Shentian Laozu, the Most Holy One, the Great Tao. The name means one who spreads the spirit throughout the world.
With these words, revealed by Fuji, the universal deity of Tao Yuan confirmed Hidemaru's mission to show the way of salvation to the people. Yunlin, who was born to bring prosperity and peace to the world, inheriting the missionary task from Shulen Onisaburo, co-founder of Omoto. A Fuji Divination Light Respect for Hidemaru grew in Chinese society following this revelation. Under his direction, Omoto's sister organization, Jinrui Aizenkai, Universal Love and Brotherhood Association, increased its efforts in providing assistance to refugees and social welfare. Omoto itself was twice subjected to police suppression in 1921 and 1935. The second suppression was an even more severe persecution than the first. Not only were the Milokuden, the great worship hall in Ayabe, and the buildings of local branches destroyed, but even the tomb of Omoto Fanjues was discredited. This vandalism was carried out on such a scale that hundreds of police and thousands of sticks of dynamite were needed. Police officers supervised the destruction of Omoto's places of worship in Ayabe during the first suppression. The worship hall in Kameoka was completely destroyed during the second suppression. Police officers guard the road in Kameoka. Secret buildings dynamited in Kameoka. During the second suppression, Onisaburo was incarcerated for six years and eight months until 1942. Also imprisoned were his wife, Sumiko, the second spiritual leader, and Hidemaru, who was 38 years old in 1935. The authorities paid particular attention to Hidemaru, seeing him as the future leader of Omoto, and they subjected him to extreme and relenting torture. All his teeth were broken, and he suffered a psychological collapse. But the authorities did not lessen their severe treatment of him, assuming that he was only pretending to be mentally ill. After two years, in December 1938, an expert report on his mental breakdown was finally submitted. People understood Omoto as a religion calling for the reconstruction of the world. Many were worried about what the future held for Japan. The Omoto suppression was caused by a misunderstanding of Omoto's religious faith and ignorance on the part of the police. During the suppression, the police confiscated Hidemaru's notebooks as evidence, but after the charges were finally dropped, the court returned them. 
Extracts from Hidemaru's writings were published in serial form in Omoto's monthly magazine, and these were later collected into an eight volume series and published as Notes on Faith. The eight volume series, Notes on Faith, taken from Hidemala's notebooks. The ideas and the style of Hidemaru's writings are so fresh that we find it hard to believe that he wrote them more than 90 years ago. Hidemaru squarely addresses the most important problem facing young people now as then, what to make of their lives. Believing that Hidemaru's writings could offer support and comfort for young people, regardless of whether they are attached to any particular religion. The major Japanese publishing house, Kodansha, brought out a trilogy edition with the titles In Search of Meaning, Belief in a Meaningful Life, and Creating a Meaningful Life in 1966. The books were bestsellers and were read widely by people with no connection to Omoto, so much so that meaningful life became a fashionable phrase in Japan at that time. The Influential Meaningful Life trilogy published by Kodansha in 1966. Dr. Tadao Umesao, anthropologist and former director of the Japanese National Museum of Ethnology commented, Hidemaru Deguchi is a unique religious figure with an acute spiritual insight. While still a young man, he was original in many ways, and he was surrounded by an aura of the miraculous, it was said. Calligraphy by Hidemaru Deguchi, Heart. Blue Sea Calligraphy by Hidemaru Deguchi. Calligraphic Painting by Hidemaru Deguchi. Those around him were struck by the extraordinary atmosphere surrounding him. There seemed to be very few people in the religious world in Japan with this miraculous aura and Hidemaru is certainly one of them. Remarks by Dr. Umesao on Hidemaru. The late Ryusho Kobayashi, former general director of the Buddhist temple Enryakuji on Mount Hiei in Kyoto, wrote in the Buddhist Gazette Hiei Zanjifo on 8th February 1992. All who knew him, Hidemaru, say that throughout his life, he was always with God and was always acting according to God's will. His life was so extraordinary. Listening to the words of his daughter Kiyoko Deguchi, the fourth spiritual leader of Omoto, spoken at his funeral ceremony, I received 
the powerful impression that he was indeed an unusual example of a man living in the divine realm. Calligraphic painting by Hidemaru. Calligraphy by Hidemaru, bamboo shoot rejoicing in a sudden rain shower. For more than 10 years before his imprisonment, Hidemaru healed sick people while spreading the teachings of Omoto in Japan and abroad. Hidemaru in familiar pose, sitting up at the go board. Before the first suppression of Omoto, when he was traveling in Yamagata Prefecture, Hidemaru looked through the train window and saw a woman with a baby waiting on the station platform. The baby's face and hands were covered with lamps. Hidemaru closed his eyes and blew in the direction of the baby. At that moment, all the lamps disappeared from the baby's body. This was witnessed and written about later by a passenger traveling with Hidemaru. Such happenings were common, we are told, and the face of Omoto believers in him was limitless, but he didn't endorse the kind of religious faith that focuses only on miracles. He taught that miracles are a way of making known the existence of the spirit world and warn that people with spiritual powers are not always true people of religion. Omoto's teaching on this are uh, strict faith in God only for the purpose of healing is nothing more than a way of satisfying one's ego. Hidemaru taught liberation from ego and the life of self-giving according to the God's will. Hidemaru at the go board in his house. In 1926, Hidemaru, who was then working in the editorial department of Omoto, wrote a long essay under the title The Necessity of Learning Esperanto. It was, in fact, Hidemaru who first informed Onisaburo that a course in Esperanto was to be held in Kyoto, which led him to send his secretary to join the course. In 1923, he founded the Omoto Association for the popularization of Esperanto. The thinkers of today, sliding ever further into chaos, the almost irredeemable spiritual states of the people, and the tragic and senseless happenings we saw around us every day as a result, what causes all these? These come from a shattered spirit, diminished and ensure that he is incapable of love for all people of whatever country. In 40 countries, 1,200 different languages are used. The only thing that can solve this contradiction is the power of a language that can bring together 
our disconnected individual hearts. What kind of language should this be? It must be absolutely neutral. It must also be clear and easy to learn. It must give freedom of expression to the user in song or poetry. It also needs to be complete and perfectly formed as a language. Which language fulfills these conditions? It is English. No, it is the international auxiliary language, the neutral language Esperanto. Humankind, gently close your eyes and speak a sentence in this international language. How does its pleasant and peaceful cadence sound to you? Feel the tranquility it brings to your heart. This language, Esperanto, is a language of God. Those who learn to use this language will find God therein. The passing of Hidemaru. Our respected spiritual co-leader, Hidemaru Deguchi, passed away on 25th December 1991 in his official residence, Ryokuji no Yakata, in Ayabe, aged 93. <clears throat> His passing was a shock for us, Omoto followers, coming as it did just before the centenary of the founding of Omoto and the compression of the Choseiden Temple in Ayabe. His public funeral was held on 18th January 1992 in the Mirokuden Sanctuary in Ayabe with 4,300 mourners. His ashes were interred next to the tombs of the four great spiritual leaders of Omoto on the nearby hill Tenno Daira. The sky was blue the whole day, although there was a strong wind. In the evening, the moon rose clearly above the new tomb. Funeral procession of Hidemaru in the Omoto Sanctuary in Ayabe. Thank you very much for your attention.